What up, people? It's your boy, Master Judy, out here with another comic review. I'm getting through this backlog bit by bit. So, you know, Super Sons, one of the 12 maxi issues. Um, I went through this several times, and I have to say, you know, I really enjoyed it. Tomasi does his thing. He goes back to the back to what made Super Sons popular. I'm happy for this. This takes place immediately after issue number 16, the last issue of Super Sons. This is essentially a sequel. I wish they had basically, they could have basically didn't even have to cancel it. They could have just said, you know, this is issue 17 taking place so and so after this. So, you know, it makes no sense, but, you know, it's always good to have it. And hopefully it'll just mean, like, Super Sense will be revived. I have no doubt it will be revived. So let's get into it, you know. You know, it's just a typical thing. Our favorite Superboy here, John, is just doing his thing. He's eating some popcorn, watching. While Damien here is struggling with a golden Superman statue. And, you know, he's trying to say, okay, give me your help, please. And he just say, okay, ask nicely. So we just see that right here. This takes place in Avengers of Super Sons. Uh, takes place between the last issue and the Superman special of number one. So here we see that um, uh, Superboy's like the uh, Superboy gets in. You know, he's kind of joking around, it's like saying, "Does your dad know you curse so much?" But anyway, it's like he starts punching the statue, start fighting it, and then um, Robin. So uh, and then you know, Alan, so the ghost of Alan Swan will haunt you forever, and you know. You know, they're just having some good banter, so, basically, um, basically, uh, whoa, sorry, car's on. Basically, Superbo Superboy goes, continues to distract the thing, Robin usually goes, finds the place, finds the guy controlling it, and dispatches him very quickly, and, uh, you know, hey, that's the puppeteer, I recognize him from the old Justice League file, so it seems that, um... Seems that Superboy also does his research. I like that. He progresses. You idiots never cease to amaze me. You're controlling inanimate objects, and then what? Do you even have a plan? I'll get rich after this display on my ana, <clears throat> anima psychotronic <clears throat> technology. It's like, blah, blah, blah. Then you should have just sold it so I can make Superman do whatever I want. Hmm? So Robin starts to get a little bit of his revenge, you know, for Superboy mocking him. Is you just see um, he's trying to fight back, and, uh, you know, the, th the thing finally goes back to normal. And he's like this, hey, no way those last couple of shots were the puppeteer. It wasn't him. It wasn't. It was him. I'm the good guy. Sorry, it just took a second to find the off switch. Jesse, you made Superman hit me twice and step on me. I think your dad wanted to spank you. It's like, I think you're secretly the greatest villain on Earth. It's like, if I wanted, I would too. I would be. We just see like this. So, the boys, you know, I like this picture. John John is a very good character. Probably one of the most, probably one of the best recent characters in DC. Fantastic. So, it's like, can you make sure to tell these folks how great my invention was? Hey, Superboy, and that kid I think you used to work for Batman. That's a puppet deer. He did all of this with help from, and then we just see, okay, it's time to get back to school. Then we see a spaceship. They find people are looking for Earth. They've been watching Superboy and Robin. The children of this world, so-called protectors, and enemies of its true heroes. I call them super sons, and they'll soon be super dead. Okay. You know, typical, you know, kid stuff, everything like that. And guess what? It's summer vacation. Everybody's out. John's doing his kid stuff, celebrating for the summer. Meanwhile, David's with the teachers, like, saying, my tertiary point on the final essay, Dr. Medley, is that Tegamark's interpretation of Schrodinger leaves little doubt that this is simply a quantum suicide machine run amok. I am happy to stay here and explain it if it will restore my proper score on the test. And she's like, Damien, but Damien, you already received 100%. This was a simple recitation of facts for extra credit. I asked for a paragraph. You gave me a 120-page college-level thesis. Let's see, then consider it summer reading, Dr. Bentley. I expect the extra credit, and then some. Jesus. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. It's like, dude, it's finally summer. Aren't you psyched? Over the moon. Uh, so John goes there, then. We see, um, Georgia, the girl that, uh, you know, John, I think, likes, or, you know, he, he's become quite the ladies' man, you know, doing his thing. So, she invites him to the pool, and, you know, they're, like, saying, sorry, our schedule's booked, but I'll text you, though. <laughs> and then, uh, John is like this, so, it's like, 
hey, when you said silly lessons, you meant super going on some super stuff, right? Saying nothing gets past you. Our HQ has mostly been repaired. We need a resupply and final touches, so we'll start off our battle against evil there. Jesse. And with our parents away for several weeks, a little supervision, it's going to be summer of super. Be the summer of super. Hey, Alfred, I beg you, please never say that again. And then we just see him still saying it. Summer of super, summer of super. It's like, John, it's been over two hours. Joke's over. It's like, and we just see Alfred Kid and to tore a hole through the hole. I thought we were never going to get it back together. It looks great. Justice League has gone through dozens of HQs. Father's company is one of the leaders in semi-self-repairing structural engineering. It's like, and then we just see uh, Superboy comes in with some sodas. He's like, it's like, what's that? Um, supplies. Like, that's a lot of soda. My mom and dad don't let me drink it at home, but this isn't him, so it's like too much sugar. It's like, hey, I'm a growing Kryptonian. You're going to be, you're going to grow up, to, <laughs> you're going to be three times if you keep drinking all that. What's with a new belt? So I didn't even notice that Superman gave um, John his belt. Like, it's like, my dad gave it to me. Said he wasn't going to use it anymore since he was changing his uniform up. Cool, right? It has Wi-Fi, so I'm a flying hotspot. So, you know, they're just doing their jokes. And then all of a sudden, it's like there's some kind of monster loose in the mall of Metropolis. Seems mindless, but, you know, it's routine. So they're getting ready for the summer super. And just see, seriously, I'll pay you $8 million to stop saying that. So, you know, the banter is fantastic. I, I love this book. So we're here. It seems to be a scassage thing, terrorizing the people. And uh, they go in. Superboy catches, saves the family. It's like, oh, well, I'm aware of my actions and the end results. So, bam, goes like this, take him out, boss. So, Damien gets hit with something. It's like, Robin, are you okay? all right? It's like, what the? And he's like this, wait, don't touch it. It's like, shut it. So, Damien gets mummified, tied up right there. And he's completely, he's completely um, immobilized. And this Sasquatch guy takes down a, um, takes down a John right here, throws him in there. And we just see John. No need for code names. Damien knows his own name, as as we do, John. So we just see the gang, which is supposed to be the Injustice gang. We got a, uh, we got everybody here. We got this uh, girl, Captain Cold, right here. We got this. Uh, it's like he calls Joker Junior his bestest pal, which I, I find hilarious, given that we you know uh, it's just funny. But anyway, we just see like you know we got female Captain Cold. Got Deadshot here, we got uh, Kid Brainiac, we got Joker Jr., we got this Sasquatch dude. And then Lex pulls out some gold kryptonite, and I don't know, I, I mean, I don't know if gold kryptonite really does that, you know, the damage. But anyway, they have the heroes down and out, and uh, Lex Jr. starts uh, beating on him. And Damien's just watching. So, yeah, fun book, a little quick review. Give this a good 8.5 out of 10. You know, keep following the series. Let's um, purchase it and make sure that Super Sons gets back on the mainstream. Gets its own series back. So thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hit the notifications. Make sure you're notified. Once again, I do these reviews for you, the people, because I want to discuss good comics and get your views on them. Thank you for watching. I should have more videos up when I can. I'm going to bring it back. Y'all, thanks and peace.